Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discuss about your project FPGA based system for heart rate monitoring. The continuous monitoring of cardiac patient necessitates the use of uh, variable systems that can recognize the heart problems automatically. This work described a complete novel hardware designs for the QRS complex detections based on field programmable gate array. The Pan and Tomkins algorithms forms the foundations of the proposed detection systems. However, the detection steps makes use of a fresh, straightforward and effective method. The novel technique to find the QRS peaks is based on the center derivative and the intermediate value theorem. The Vela HGL has been used to implement the proposed architectures on FPGA and the Vertex 5 FPGA have been used to synthesize it. The reliability of the execution time and the estimated FPGA resources of the proposed system were compared to those obtained with the current QRS detection systems in order to access the efficacy of the proposed systems. The database of the MIT biased arithmetic database have been used to verify the proposed design. Finally, compare uh, each parameters of area, delay and power values. Okay. Now we can verify the base paper. So this base purpose is mainly focused for heart rate monitoring. Okay. So here uh, for heart rate monitoring they are used uh, FPGA implementation. Okay. So for the in FPGA implementations we need some data sets and uh, algorithms. Okay. For that they are used the PAN token algorithms. Okay. And uh, they are used a uh, MIT BIS data set. So this is a link for PhysioBank from MIT BIS datasets. Okay, so here we can choose uh, which one we are needed. Okay, ECG datasets or any other datasets you are needed. Okay, arrhythmia datasets. Okay, whatever uh, you are needed, we can we can check it. Okay, so here I'll choose the MIT BH arrhythmia database. Okay, so recorded which one you are needed 100, 101, 102. Okay, so which one you are needed, you can select it. Signals which level all M, L, F, I, F, I. Okay, so whatever need you can check it and how much time you are needed, one hour or two hours. Okay, so time, uh, so what are the things you are needed? Okay, so here you can give a decision. So which one you are needed, the plot waveform or plot RR intervals only, plot RR histogram. Okay, so whatever you are needed, you can um, give it here. So here you can verify the plot waveform means it will show some waveforms here. Uh, okay, so you can verify the waveforms. Uh, otherwise and the plot uh, uh, show some sample text okay so it will show the sample values okay so we can download it okay and we can use that in a data set okay so so and uh, this paper uh, internally uh, they are direct the QRS peaks and then uh, they are uh, direct the heart attack values okay here they are given one architectures that is a figure one and figure two architectures that we have used only the figure two uh, procedure of proposed algorithms so here you can verify the procedure so here initially the ecg signal start with uh, uh, here okay so how we are started means we will use the file reading and writing code to read the data sets and it will be given into the memory after that memory we are reading the data and it will be given to the band pass filter so here the figure 2 architectures it's having a two different model so one is a pre-processing stage model and one is a qrs detection stage okay so in the pre-processing stage so initially it will be start with the band pass filter derivative filters and squaring integrated and low pass filters and qrs detection stage it's having a center derivative maximum peak detectors and adaptive threshold detections okay so finally come up with the heart rate calculations and the heart rate display okay so here the band pass filter design with using a 8th order filter, 8th order FAR filter uh, with support of a high pass filters and low pass filter. Okay, derivative filter means it reduces the noise uh, to sampling with the uh, previous to current signals. Okay, for squaring, uh, we will improve the power level in the ECG signal then only we will get a uh, low level of the ECG patterns okay so an integrated filters it will integrate the value of the high frequency noise and then it will be given to the low pass filters okay so after the low pass filters it will be given to the center derivative maximum peak directors and adaptive thresholding okay so as per this calculations uh, so here they are given right non-linear transformations of derivative signals and uh, moving window integrator so this is the part we have developed as a code and QRS complete directions for center derivative 
and maximum peak detections okay for center derivative we have used some other reference paper also the implementation of derivative based qrs complex relations method so here we have used this type of formula for first derivative okay algorithm okay so that the same thing for center derivative and after this uh, this architectures we have developed in Verla HCL okay uh, this is a code for uh, test bench okay so here we have developed a ECG modulation so this ECG modulations we have a uh, number of codes okay so files okay so 100 annotations 10 2 annotations 10 3 annotations sample H and sample H2 is a normal and this is a abnormal okay and uh, this is a top model architecture so here uh, we have used an input clock reset ECG data ECG ML arrhythmia reductions and heart rate uh, is a final output and TP fn fp okay is a uh, parameters output okay and uh, this is a filter start with the fr filter okay initially ecg data given to the fr filter so that is a bandpass filters okay after this bandpass filters output given to the derivative filter the derivative filter output given to squaring and square data it will given to integrated filter integrated output given to low pass filters again the filter data given to the qrs compilation center derivative and the center derivative given to maximum peak and maximum peak given to adaptive thresholding and finally our peak value and our peak data given to the heart rate calculations okay so here uh, we have simulated this code in uh, modelism software so this is a simulation model okay so here we have uh, run this in 100 annotations okay so here the 100 annotations only uh, we are given it's uncommanded on okay so this is a signal for 100 annotations okay so here as per as per the 100 annotations it will calculate the heart rate value okay so these are the values it will be calculated and the arithmetic relations will be finding here okay so if i change this 100 annotations to my signal uh, actually this signal will come with a text file uh, if i change this to hexadecimal uh, normal value this is a normal one okay now we can run this same simulation okay so this is output for normal easy signal okay so this is the ecg data and this is a bandpass filters okay this is a filter output okay so this filter output given to the derivative output okay and after that it will be squaring this is a squaring waveform okay after squaring it will be given to the integrator okay so after integrator it will be given to the uh, center derivative okay and after it will finding the maximum peak value maximum peak director and adaptive shouldering maximum peak directors means here you can place a cursor here okay so here uh, you can easily analyze it in the peak value okay so here you can check the value okay so maximum peak uh, is a 386 okay and the derivative filter is it showing also 386 and here uh, it will be showing 385 okay so approximate value it will be shown as a maximum peak or peak value okay so we can take this value as a or peak okay and uh, uh, it will be given into the heart rate calculations okay so this heart rate calculations to calculate the intervals of r to r okay as per that it will calculate the uh, arrhythmia directions okay so here this is the heart rate calculations pulses waveform okay this work was synthesized in uh, Xilinx Vertex 5 FPGA so here you can analyze uh, the number of slice registers number of flip flops and number of LUTs and occupied slices IO base okay and synthesis report you can check delay okay so 5.74 nanoseconds and uh, you can check RTL schematic here okay so heart rate monitoring ECG data is input F1 FP TP heart rate okay so this is a heart rate so here heart rate calculations means we are used this equations okay so here this one is a heart rate calculations okay and the intervals means uh, we have used this one the performance evolutions okay uh, so here the TP and uh, uh, fn 
this 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 signals we are calculated tp means it's a true positive and fn means is a false negative and uh, fp means is a false positive okay so based upon the uh, equations we have developed this code okay and uh, this heart rate calculations as per the architectures we have developed it so starting with fr filters and then start up to with the heart rate calculations okay so and the power report we can analyze it tools explorer analyzer the here power equal to 0 0.536 uh, volt okay and uh, we have written abstract document for this project here this is a title and a abstract proposed abstract existing system disadvantages and proposed systems okay advantages and uh, related notes for this project with the vlsi notes okay and finally come up with the literature survey references okay thank you